All right, guys, welcome to the Chelsea Fans Channel. We are outside <laughs> Stamford Bridge, where Chelsea have just drawn against West Brom 2-2. We'll try and keep it quite short because it's absolutely freezing and tipping down with rain. But uh, well, I did an interview just a minute ago with a guy who's been going to Chelsea for 50-odd years or whatever. And he, made, he won't be happy with that. He, no, of course not. He's not happy he with it. He looked about he was, 35. He, he, he looked a picture, yeah. Well, he said 50 years oh, or whatever, he, yeah. yeah. God, I hope not. <laughs> if not, I think you looked 20. Uh, anyway, he made a brilliant point, which is what I've thought all along. Jose went, we were all absolutely heartbroken. Any real Chelsea fans know how heartbroken we were by that because we were looking for longevity at the club. He made a good point by saying that he feels like some of the players don't wear that shirt as if they're Chelsea like we do. And I, and I, and I really couldn't agree more. I didn't think the game was terrible, but to concede a goal like that in the 80-something minute yeah. was poor. It was, it, was, it was poor defending and it, was, it wouldn't have happened if, this was, if we were having Lampard there to take charge. JT's obviously there, but I mean, again, we've got players like Willian who really want to play for Chelsea. It was his dream to come to Chelsea. He's really playing, but he can't hold the whole team. I agree, I agree, Soph. I think that there's definitely a problem with the spine of our team. And by spine, I mean like the entire backbone. I don't just mean the, the, the spine that runs through it. You know, obviously, it's going to be so difficult to replace Czech, Terry, Lampard, Drogba. That, is, you know, that yeah, was a dream, that was yeah, a dream yeah. spine that is going to be very difficult to replace. However, the players out there aren't even trying enough, like aren't even trying to replicate that sort of commitment, and no. and it's not good enough. Saying that, you know, I, th I think there were some positives. I think Costa really played, he you did know, play tried, well. tried, he, yeah. he tried his heart out, and it was so nice to see. He really did fight. I like his new tactic where he has a fight and puts his hands behind his back to yeah. avoid him to avoid him doing anything that he may regret. Um, but yeah, it was just. Uh, but God, I think it's terrible. brilliant. I think Costa's definitely trying. You can definitely see some improvements in some players, but there are a set few who haven't really changed much at all. And I think you know it shows, and you can tell because when players like Kennedy and Ruben come on, they want to play for Chelsea. They really want to, and that is that is what's making them better than some of our first team I know, at the moment. I know, I agree. But you've got to remember that today it, we would have won the game if it wasn't for a couple of we were we, we were unlucky. You know, Pedro for the first goal I felt like Courtois could have probably done better with both of them I haven't seen them on telly yet if I'm wrong with that but from my seat yeah, I felt Courtois like Courtois could have, could have done better yeah, with both done. particularly the done. first one um, and and he didn't so that's you know that's another reason and I don't want to do it I don't want to be the, the fan or the bloke who does it but I'm going to have to mention it this time for the first time in my fan channel career <sighs> I don't know what you're going to say I'm going to say the referee Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say that ball it, well, it was it, oh, I'll carry on for you then sorry the referee was poor, and actually, I have to say, West Brom, you know, not taking any way from, anything away from how we should not have conceded any of those goals, but West Brom, the time wasting, you really, yeah. as a club, it's just a bit disrespectful to everybody else who it's, even yeah, watches. Yeah, I know, it's pathetic. You know, my healing goal was, was uh, the chief culprit, but I thought that their entire game plan was... I, I, you know what, actually, I, I don't knock them for it. I, if anything, I salute them for it. I think that a great Pulis, manager, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think that you play the cards you're dealt. They're never going to come to Stanford Bridge and try and play us at football. So they roll with the punches and they play at what they're good at, and that's what they did. You know, they. Oh. I'm sorry. We're you know, it's called cool something. It's called cool something, isn't it? It's when the, when the weather reflects your mood. I think it's called a pathetic fallacy. We're have to and wrap this is definitely because it. I swear to God, I got but into the game late today, <laughs> and my hair is a mess. I'm good, wearing no makeup. The good news is, the good news is, Robert Hoos scored and Tottenham lost, and I believe that Liverpool scored a 90th minute equaliser yeah. as well. So. And do you know what? Oh, I want, on Saturday, guys, I want to see three points, and I want to see Kennedy, and I want to see Ruben coming on at least at half time to make some sort of impact. So this we're going to so see you Saturday. We've got to get out of here. Bye. <laughs> Channel. It's time for my favourite part of the week, and that is Backpage Blues. I'm joined by Charlie, the Hurricane <laughs> Skillen, and it's a very special day because it's the Hurricane's birthday. So yes. make sure that you wish him happy birthday in the comments below. 26. 26. Many happy returns.